Hi, my name is Caitlin Bell with WatchGuard Technologies. Today I will share with you how any organization with more than one WatchGuard Firebox can reap the benefits of centralized management. So to begin, we'll log into the management server using the tunnel icon in the WSM. When it opens, we're presented with a device management dashboard displaying all devices currently under management. Since the management server cannot be administered using WebUI, you need to install the WatchGuard System Manager. If you have already installed WSM, you can simply rerun the QSW and install Management Server. On the left, the navigation pane displays the WatchGuard Management Server and its managed devices, managed VPNs, device configuration templates, and scheduled tasks. From the Device Status tab, we can view the overall connection status of all our managed devices. It will alert us to interface status, server connection issues, and any VPN tunnel problems. To the right, we have an information pane where we can view management server information, a summary of all devices under management by type, available WatchGuard software updates, tools for QSW, certificate management, log server management and report output, and scheduled tasks. I also want to point out role-based administration control. This feature enables you to share the configuration and monitoring responsibilities among several people. Another great feature is the ability to easily drill down into individual firewalls. From this vantage point, we can view the selected firewall's current status, IP address, as well as the configuration history. Let's now check out another great time-saving feature. Using WatchGuard's drag-and-drop technology, creating managed VPN tunnels is a breeze. All it takes is for us to simply drag the icon of one device on top of another device. Once we've done that, a VPN wizard pops open. From this wizard, we can select our desired VPN resources. We click Next, and on the following screen, we choose our security template from the drop-down. We can also check the box for the appropriate DNS or Win server. Once we've made our selections, we go to the next screen, where we have the option of choosing a firewall VPN template. We click Next once more and then hit Finish, and that's it. We've completed the creation of a VPN tunnel between the X10e and a remote WatchGuard XTM820. If you've deployed one or more WatchGuard devices, you owe it to yourself to review the centralized management features of Management Server. For more information, contact a reseller or your sales representative. Thanks so much for tuning in.